Hi, I'm Matt from HockeyReviews.ca and this is the Tacky Mac Hockey uh, Grip Alternative Review. So there's a bunch of different uh, grips on the market. I will be reviewing all the ones I've used and then I will have a video where I will kind of say which one's the best and why. But this review is specifically for the Tacky Mac grip itself. So I've used this the longest over all of the other grips. Um, I've had Tacky Mac for a few years now, really liked it, then decided to branch out and try some other things. Right now, I just bought two new sticks, a uh, CCM Jet Speed and a Warrior QR Edge. I bought Tacky Max, actually both of these, specifically for uh, those sticks. So I'm a fan of these, I can see. There are a bunch of different uh, types of them on here. So this one is just the normal wrap with a smaller uh, butt end, as you can see there. This is also just a normal wrap. This one is on one of my favorite sticks, my Nexus. Here is the Sand, which is a little bit uh, coarser. So not as smooth, it's pretty decent for rip, uh, grip. There is a little kind of rip there. Um, I believe that was from a puck. This is another wrap, but with a bigger knob. I believe there's even a bigger knob for goalies. Um, for me, I found this knob was a little bit annoying on the hand because it felt like uh, the hand, your hand was just too far away from the rest of the stick. So I used that once and that was it. I just like, I guess I like to try things. So I tried it and wasn't a huge fan. And then here is one of the very first ones I ever got. Um, this was actually caused by a puck. So I blocked a shot on the top of my shaft. It ripped right there and it came apart. I used this for over a year and that the only issue of it was because of the puck. Um, so the one thing about Tacky Mac is that they're, they are reusable, but what you have to do is basically pull it up like this and pull it all the way. And it really, I find it really stretches. Um, and when you put it back on, it doesn't really stay. Uh, it does come with this paper adhesive. I don't use this, I use hairspray. So I do a video on how I put Tacky Mac onto sticks. It, I'll link to it in the description. I feel that that works better than this and it holds it, it's easier to put on. You basically just spray the inside, spray the shaft, and then you pull it down and twist. Um, but with that said, I don't really reuse these. Um, when you take, when I tried to reuse it, I found the grip slipping far too much. I didn't have paper under it, but it just did get a little bit too big because I had to wrap it up and it stretched. Now, with that said, when if you're like me, where you replace sticks or use a ton of different sticks, Exhibit A, um, before they break or even if they just go a little soft, but you don't really want to take the grip off, uh, Tacky Mac is a really good solution, I believe. It's much cheaper than the alternatives um, for this. They're about six to ten dollars, depending on where you are. Canada, they retail for about ten, but if you look online, you can usually get them at about six. And like I said, I bought a ton of these, and I keep buying them because I don't generally break my sticks, and I'll just move it. Uh, the, like I'll just move on to a new one. But if I ever want to go back, I want it pre-grip taped and everything ready to go. So for me, Tacky Mac is great because I leave it on a stick, and that's it to go. Um, with that said, it, there's not a ton of customization with these. Um, there is different versions. I showed these ones off. There's another one where it had, I think it's like a cane grip where it doesn't have a knob and it has like a, a bump basically all the way around in a swirl. And that's kind of like if there's a tape, uh, like you can tape your stick like that. I don't do it. I like it taped like this. So this works for me. But there's not a ton of options in other ways. Um, they're not also super easy to find in stores anymore. I think they're kind of being replaced by butt ends and sniper skins. But for me, these are my go-to, and personally, I think they're the best bang for buck, and I, that's why I have a hard time kind of suggesting the other ones, because these are so such a much better value. But then again, if you do break sticks, like multiple sticks a year, and you want to keep reusing them, then maybe this isn't the best way to go. Um, but for me, it works great, and I know a lot of people kind of hoard sticks like I do, so... I'm a huge fan of Tacky Mac, would definitely recommend it. I keep purchasing them over the alternatives. I find they're cheaper, the quality is really good. And like I said, I don't really need to replace them that often. So I definitely rec recommend these and they are my favorite of all the grip alternatives. Um, so yeah, that's it. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, hopefully it was informative. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. And I hate to say this, remember to subscribe to me on YouTube, follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Helps me getting get products so I can do more reviews and talk about gear. Um, after this video, it, I will have links to the reviews of my butt ends and the reviews of the sniper skin, and then a total of which one I think is the best. So thank you very much for watching and take it easy.